Hello everybody and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Uh, firstly, I apologise for my slightly unusual get up. It is absolutely freezing in the UK. Um, so the uh, the pimp robe has come out. But um, today the deck we are looking at is Enter Facts. So this is a bunch of artefacts that like to enter the battlefield. So let's just run through what we are playing with. So this is an alchemy deck. Um, so we have four copies of Flesh Gorger. This thing is obviously an absolute house. It's 3-3 three, three for 3, Menace, Life Link, Ward, Pay 3 Life, or a 7-5 for 7, Menace, Life Link, Pay 7 Life Ward. We're also running 3 Steel Seraph, which is the 3-3 three, three Flyer for 3, and then at the beginning of combat in your turn, Target Creature Control gains Flying, Vigilance, or Life Link until end of turn. We're running four of the Warzone Duplicate, which is the Alchemy uh, Prototype Blue one, and it's a four costing 3-3, three, three, and when it enters the battlefield, returns our creature and opponent controls a power less than Warzone Duplicator's power to its owner's hand. If that wasn't a token, conjure a duplicate of it into your hand. It perpetually gains, you may spend mana as though it were any colour to cast this. Does it even get to the bottom? Spell. Yes. Um, it's also a sick, can be a 6-6-6. Six, six, six which is a pretty meaty body to put in the way. We're then running three of the Might Stone and the Weak Stone, which when it enters the battlefield we can draw two cards, or target creature gets minus five, minus five until end of turn. It also taps down for two colourless mana, but that can't be spent to cast non-artifact spells. Thankfully we have plenty of artifacts in here. Two of the Patch Plate Resolute that we used in the Naya Growers deck. Uh, this is the 3-3 three, three Soldier that when it enters or leaves the battlefield you get a boom with when you cast your next creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it and unearth, unearths for 1 and a white. So plenty of counters going around as this enters and leaves the battlefield. Two of the Trove Mage. I'm just trialing this out because this is a 3 costing 2-2 two, two Human Wizard that when it enters the battlefield you seek an artifact card from among the top 10 cards of your library, then shuffle. So, given that we're running loads of artifacts, this basically is always going to draw us an artifact card. Since all of our artifacts are either creatures or the Might Stone of the Weak Stone, which is removal, it is hopefully going to just basically draw us a creature or removal spell. Three Urza Law Protector it makes all artifacts, instants, and sorceries cost one less. We have a ton of artifacts and instants and sorceries. In fact, the only thing that isn't is the Trove Mage, uh, so maybe we should be removing him, not sure. Um, and you can pay seven, meld it with the Might Stone and the Weak Stone um, to form as a Planeswalker, which basically means you win the game. We are then running four Surge Engine, so this is the uh, Brothers War 2 costing Mythic. That's a 3-2 Defender, pay blue, and it loses Defender and gains this can't be blocked. Pay three more, it becomes a 5-4, um, and it becomes blue. And then pay six, and it you draw three cards. So it's a nice little artifact with some man, uh, some place to dump our mana in the later game, a way for us to refuel if it's uh, a deadlock. But also, the surge engine paired with the seraph is a nice way of having an unblockable life linker to gain us life back, in addition to the flesh gorger, which is often unblockable due to its menace. Um, so I quite like this little combo that we've got going on. Also. The Might Stone and the Weak Stone can pay for the Surge Engine outright, so on turn 5, if we have both of these in our hand, we can play the Might Stone and the Weak Stone, kill something with 5 Toughness, and then play Surge Engine, which is quite a nice little um, combo. It's similar to if you're running um, the Wreck and a Bank Buster, which we could run here, but because of the lack of 3 power creatures, it doesn't feel quite as good. Um, also, we can use the leftover mana with the Might Stone and Weak Stone generates to pay for the uh, 2 and three abilities of Surge Engine. We're then running two go for the throats, two cut down, some early game removal to help us deal with little red decks. Four planar incisions. So this is one of the sort of powerhouses of the deck. It's one and a blue for an instant. Exile target artifact or creature, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a 1-1 counter on it. So I originally tried building this with the new Tornos Endures. Um, which is this card, Exile Target Creature, it gains at the beginning of your upkeep if this card is exiled, it perpetually gets plus one plus one, then you may put it onto the battlefield. But, the problem with this is that, although it is one cheaper than Planar Incision, and it has the same sort of blink effect and gives it one one, so in a very similar fashion, it only does it back at the beginning of your upkeep. So, you, if you want to sort of combat trick, i.e. attack with your Flesh Gorger, then blink it out and bring it, bring it back in as a blocker, you can't do that with Tornos and Jaws. And with Tornos and Jaws, when the creature comes back in, it has summoning sickness because it comes at the beginning of your upkeep, so which is after your um, untap step, unfortunately. So, in short, the incision will let us attack with the thing the next turn, often the Flesh Gorger, but it could be the Seraph or the Duplicator, uh, which... The planar incision is just much better for that. Obviously, when we blink any of these prototype things, they're coming back into the battlefield as the bigger version of themselves. So, 
a 7-5, a 6-6 six, six, or a 5-4. We can blink the Might Stone and the Weak Stone to kill something off or draw more cards. And we can blink the Resolute for three <laughs> uh, boon tokens that give us 1-1 one, one counters. So um, that's pretty nice because it it leaves and then it enters. Sorry, just for two, but it'll already have given us one when we played it. So yeah, I mean, this thing can be basically a counter factory. In the worst case, we can blink our Trove Mage, which can then seek us another artifact card. So we can basically draw with the Planar Incision. We can block the Trove Mage, then Planar Incision it, and then draw, seek ourselves another artifact card. So, loads of ways to pull our artifacts out. Whilst it looks a little light on removal, we are running three of these, which is removal that's recurrable by the Planar Incision. And we have two counters in there for our um, our uh, control matchups. Now, um, we are running a Ganjo and Ottawara as well, as a little bit of extra interaction. In the first couple of games in the video, I wasn't running the Make Disappear, um, but I figure if we run like four Go for the Throats or two Infernal Grasps, I think I was running originally instead of this in this spot, it just makes us too weak to control, namely, namely um, Farewell. You know, if someone names artifacts or even creatures, we can get absolutely wiped out. So I just think it's important to have that option of drawing a counter spell in there, but. Um, and I do feel like we've got enough removal for the early game. So anyway, that is the deck. Um, we've got a kind of fairly standard Esper mana base of basically two of all sorts of colours. We are running the three special lands, four crossroads and four ravines tower. Um, so we're not running any basics. So we are a little bit weak to field of ruin type effects. But otherwise, it's had a bit of um, success for me in playtesting. Let's have some games and see how we get on. Okay, here we go. Artifacts for the win. Cool. Not the lands I would choose as my openers, but I am a beggar, and I cannot be a chooser. I don't think that is a real song, I just made that up. Right. Two. How about three, two? Ha! Ah. Trove Mage. Probably not very good in this deck. It's probably for combos, to be honest, but we're gonna try it anyway. I will wanna block you. No, my search engine. Trove Mage it is. A duplicator is quite a nice one to have. We would like a black land though, wouldn't we, for the Flesh Gorger. That's the red destruction. Lifelink. Bum, bum. It's a jump. So we'll let that through. Take two. This thing can always block the Kamano token. So. Okay, so do we just duplicate her? I reckon we do. Got our own Swift Spear. So even if they put it back in, it'll be a 2 3. Flesh Gorger. Maybe not. One mana to do something. Nothing. Okay. So, we'll probably do this, this, this. Or maybe this. That's better. Then they'd have to cast 
two things to save the swift spear. Okay. This can be white. Flesh water is good. Surge engine. So our best bet could be to block and then precision, or it could be to grasp. Grasp is slightly dangerous, but Two life is two life, isn't it? Let's just block like this. And then incision, shall we? Were they just hoping I wouldn't block? Yep. Okay, we'll get rid of that. It does put me on five, but... With the Flesh Gorger around, oh, as an 8-6, we should be alright. The thing is, we need to be careful, because if they have a Lightning Bolt, Instant speed, they could react to us trying to incision the flesh gorger. So maybe we'll use the incision only as a defensive thing, unless we are on the verge of death. Okay, never mind. We are definitely not on the verge of death. Come on, Mephis. Got to come to your doom, my friend. Let it happen. Let it wash over you. What's just happened? Sweet. Give it vigilance. Eight life back to us. And we can always blink the Seraph. Sweet. GGGG Good game, sir. Ching. Okay, we beat red. That's one test ticked. Let's try again. Alright. Next game. Seventy-nine cards on this deck. Yorian. So throwing away the repair and recharge is the thing that gets you stuff out of the graveyard. Surge engine. What is going on here? Get the flesh gorger in. No portals to Phyrexia to throw away or whatever this is reanimating. Could be cityscape levelers, whatever it is. Um, I think 
we'll just attack and then hold our mana open. Mindbreaker deck. I have seen this once before. I wanted to have a go at making it myself. You do Mindbreaker, you need black mana as well, though. I don't know. Maybe this isn't quite the same one that I've seen. Uh, I'm not keen on that, so. We will just skip that, thank you. Fine. Uh, we'll put the resolute in maybe. Uh, so, yeah. Restoration of the gander. A funky deck. Don't know what's going on there, but I am slightly worried. So this is 11 damage if we give uh, the resolute flying, right? Okay, I think we were just about finished that game in time. Many attack for two turns, they probably didn't expect it, but I think we were just about to get hit by something horrible. <laughs> Glad we won. Next game. <clears throat> Javardo. This is a more challenging hand, so let's see how it plays out. We've got no blue, and we've got expensive stuff, but tons of sources of blue in the deck, and any land really is going to progress us in some way. Revels, yeah, ouch. I did say any land, as in we do actually need to get out of hand, please, deck. Life gained rebels, we're gonna get smashed if we're too slow. Okay, never mind. Can't be bothered. Let's just try one where we can actually test our deck. Okay, let's hope for a slightly better one than that last game. <laughs> just some lands at all would be good. Fine. They don't care if they're all tapped as long as we've got some. Let's do it for the kids. Come on, dude. Right, there we go. <laughs> I don't even is this thing. Um, no, we'll just play out more lands for now. Had the option of playing the river and the engine, but I think we're better off getting as uh, Testing if this will survive, because if it does, we're sweet. He is our Lord Protector after all. No. I'm not sure what he could be doing, but maybe Lonely End or whatever that minus three thing is. Either way, I don't want it. I'm not interested in blocking. Could be now, but. Don't need even more of those. So put the Seraph in pre combat. Give our Urz a lifelink. Let's see if it is a lonely end. We'll find out now. to kill the surge engine? Maybe. 
Maybe. playing against. We still don't even really know how the last cabin So they're looking for lands. Let's go blue. Nope. Um, we've got to get rid of Crucius, so we'll do that. End of messages. Let's see what the opponent's doing then. Five mana, maybe a invoke the spare. Go for the throat. I hope you're not running too many of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we can keep her as a alive for a turn. Played both. <laughs> now, hopefully, get to play this as a 6 6. You never know, we might draw another Might Stone and Book Stone. Only two of them in the deck now, though. What are you doing with your 6? Invoke Despair. Not a great chance of drawing what we need, so. Nothing? Good. Just hold on to our planar incision. We just don't want more invoke the spares, then it then it won't work. That's not a great despair, thankfully. I think they would have played it if they had it, because this is such a nice target, so... I guess they could play a land still, I don't know if they played one. Harvester and Harvester. <laughs> okay, that's a nice double block for the Flesh Gorger, I suppose. Go on, attack with your Trespasser. Be brave. Sweet. Now we just need one land to be able to bounce one of these. Then we're getting back in for eight. Got a true mage. Another flesh gorgery. Eh? Guess we can trade. Since 
since these were both minus sixes anyway. Okay. Continue attacking. We haven't got any way of bringing this stuff back. Probably going to flip the uh, trespasser here. Zend gone. Probably a land gone. Yeah, good. We'll get through all this blood. Another land gone. No? Yeah. Alright, so we will play this out. We play this out, I think. You can keep letting the glutton get through for the time being. That means nothing to me. Trove me just done his job. What's this last card? Not sure. Leave it as a six six. We don't need to return this, they can't attack. If we return it, they're just giving them two more life. We can kill it though. That's what I'm talking about. Force them to block with that two two. Gain in my life. They want like a children or something, but they kept one card. That's interesting. Hmm. Invoke despair. <clears throat> they got two red left. You have to keep the duplicator, I think, since it presents lethal. Lethal it is. Nice. Quite a decent Rakdos deck taken down. Shows we've got some power. Next game. Pablum. That sounds like a win for us. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pablum. Whoever you are. We're probably going to get beaten into the ground. Here we go. Thankfully. Oh, what? I meant to pick this one up. We have a cut down there, which is nice. Land and warfare. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Having warfare down isn't great for us, but. If we can keep it Urza around for a turn, that is great for us. Something tells me I can't, but... Nope. Mm, black, probably. Looking at our hand. if we can get to a six drop duplicator we're gonna win so our land is actually okay here. Getting low on cards there Pablum. Three damage a turn clock on us. So I think we will flesh forger again, but we've got incision to protect it this time. 
should put us in a very nice place. Can't do it twice. Uh, just melt through and then melt through this. No, you can't target this anymore. Not without dying. My friend. My friend, no. <laughs> Trying to burn this flesh gorge to death. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame when red doesn't come through, isn't it? It is a real shame. Not. Flesh Gorge versus Mono Red. Next game. Kibana. 88 versus 89%. Not my best hand, but it's probably passable. Play this on black. Uh, no. We want a Flesh Gorger with all these. But we'll find one with our trove mage, or we'll find something. Ronin Yuck. Non artifact creatures. Oh, come on. Mage, get me a flesh gorger, please. Thank you. Very kind of you. We might only want to play this once we're at five so we can protect it. So. Oh, maybe not. God, I can't keep taking a beating from Ronin's the whole life. Thankfully, though, there's nothing sort of uh, stopping me just putting something in place to block at the moment. Now force them to do something else. No, or not. Could just smock with Ronin's. You can use a shock on the duplicator, I suppose, but... Yeah. Feels like an interesting choice. That isn't quite the land that I need. I think we can survive one more turn. Given that we've got two of these in case anything else attacks. Like that. Finally, we can play with the incision open in case of any shenanigans. Like this type of shenanigan, always let them pay their life first. And then we get it back. Much bigger and better. <laughs> the same trick every time against red. You just need to be able to save to protect it. Okay? Kid B, we're finally facing up against some numbered opponents. Chance to fly in properly. I'm not convinced by this hand. I think it's a mulligan. <laughs> I'm not sure how we've drawn all three copies of our might soon and weak stay. While it might be tempting because we've got three colours of land and a surge engine, I don't think we can viably keep that. So In the bin. So because we're not against red, we can start with the Rafine's Tower. and white. Control or soldiers? Probably control because they led with the blue one. But 
but you never know. Yeah, okay, we know now. So we'll start with this. The least... We care the least if it gets removed or countered or whatever. Countered. So all the artifacts and creatures cost them one less than their hand. Mm. Can't counter an ability. Boons. So we've got three damage out of it and two counters. They got a deluge out of it. They definitely win that round. But we can try a Flesh Gorger next turn and protect it with an incision. Or we can try an Urza. because it's more likely to be useful to have the booms on it. Why have we done not use both of our blues, you annoying thing? If we do this and they fare well next turn, we're in serious trouble. So we won't do that. Because it'll make our whole hand useless. For God's sake, if it had not used both blues, why? What? Just to not use this one. Hold on, blue. Yeah, it's because uh, they've got to be so careful with the auto tapper with these pain lands. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Decision. Don't know if that's going to work for us, or whether this is a farewell, or what's going on here. But clearly, going to be discovering the formula at some point. They don't get the tokens for doing it that way. Just life and a card. Cut this down. Idea we want to protect the flesh gorger. I mean this could be a wandering emperor. But let's find out. I'll show you how it's done. Um if we do this, then we've got something to do with the mana if we don't use the incisions. There's the formula, which probably means we're going to get farewelled this turn, unfortunately. Divine Purge. We'll try and stop that being exiled. The problem is all of our uh, aggressive spells are not counters, so yeah, we don't play very well against control in our current state. Hmm. I think we're nearly done. They're on 27 live, they're just going up. Can't 
keep their cards down with these two that we can't touch. Controlled into the ground. That's well played. Okay. Rides one collector. 1064. Chance to gain even more back. Unfortunately, we are in the draw again, but it looks okay. Black is probably our best colour to play against. Because it means go for the throats and similar, which. We quite like playing against Crucis. Wanna do it? Hey boy. Alright. There will be a Crucis coming, I'm sure of it. Mishra, you never know. Shall read the apocalypse. Yep, that'll come in handy. in the world to deal with that problem at the moment. So, let's try and deal with our problem first. Do we just kill the reflection? Probably. It's more threatening than the shell grid to us. Because if they have any like harvesters or whatever, they can just simply kill our things. And we've got more removal. Okay, we need to get rid of that, obviously. No blocks. This one, life link. careful now. <laughs> so much evasive damage coming out here. <laughs> Go for the throat was not appreciated. That gains them a load of life, yep, that is true. So what do we got? 6, 8, 13, no longer enough. 4, taking 8, plus 2 is 10. That's alright. Because they're tapped out, I can handle that. So do we kill Sheldred? Probably. So, we can pay for this using that one. Let's 
This can have lifelink. You can only block a 2 2, but I guess they will anyway. Never reading any damage is good for them at this point. <laughs> we must have gained so much life this game, honestly. You'd be dead if nothing had lifelink. GG. That was pretty sweet. I'm happy with that one. That one makes me happy. Alright. Zalzich. We are definitely going upwards with this deck. It's a positive win rate deck for sure. Okay, as long as we draw another land in the next three draws, we will be fine. Blue. Consider. Maybe mono blue. So therefore these could be useful. Definitely not mono blue. This is Grixis. Grixis spells, so maybe arcane bombardment then. Afraid we can't let that little thing live. Yeah. Same old bullshit. Ah, ah, ah. We're not playing that game. Yes, please. Now we have cut down or incision. Not getting caught out by the same thing as before. Can't even attack with the Rascal now. Okay, let's get rid of Sheldred. And we can even play our patch plate. Swing for six. God, it feels good to be taking these deck these cards down. Don't want to count my chickens just yet, but it's going well. Got to get through before this midnight clock goes off. Just couldn't wait to do that. Um, yep. That's fine. That can be uh, unearthed anyway. When you cast, see if to cast them. Oh, so we could actually uh, have flipped this, couldn't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, not quite. More clocks. Our minus will sack Elsa and we will incision. Nobody knows Dominaria shadows like me. The flesh gorge, yeah. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? G G. Menace, I blink, and ward. Easy mode, bro. Easy mode. Okay, stats time for those that like that sort of thing. Uh, played 11 games with this deck, and we've gone 8 and 3 in 48 minutes. So, pretty good going. Um, it's been a bit of a split. I mean, we do well against red. Everything has to do well in red, as I always say, to be good in alchemy. And we do well against Rakdos, which is also a nice little perk. It's the lifelink. If you have lifelink, you beat both of these things hands down. We struggled against one of the control matches in here, and I think we would typically win against soldiers. 
Um, struggling it's mono blue, not too surprising due to our lack of counters or way of interacting back with them. Um, but I don't think you know one game is an indicative of the pattern and everything else is a little bit random. So you know, on the whole, I would say this is pretty much a banger of a deck. It's definitely going to climb. Um, if I can win in the low 90% uh, in Mythic, I would say this deck is a relatively easy one to climb with. The one thing I'm not sure about is maybe we need to ditch Trove Mage, um, put another Urza in, because Urza really is a house in this deck. Um, and then put one more removal or counter spell maybe but i'm going to keep it in there just to try it out for a little bit longer i want to give new cards a chance see how we can get on with them you know it feels like it's a bit weak as a 2-2 maybe it should be a 3-2 and then it would be a bit better but um, i'm going to give it a bit more of a chance anyway that was the deck i hope you had fun uh watching the video there'll be more to come soon thank you very much for those who stuck around and i'll see you next time bye for now